let's go, I'm gonna go, so now we've kind of explored the UI, the three things I love, you guys know how much I love this. I love a clean extension with just a couple things to mess with, oh, so nice. What if we bump iterations, right? So let's go up to four. So what this is gonna do, I'm gonna leave it as a low, you know, a low movement, so it's gonna stay kind of in a bricky shape. Uh, pointing this is again gonna be 0.5. I don't want a ton of movement, just a little bit, but a whole lot more iterations. Let's see what that looks like. Click OK. It's gonna take a second. At every time I do this, remember I'm multiplying the number of faces in the geometry by four. So this is four up to 16, up to 32, up to 64. Is that math right? That math sounds right. So this is 64 faces on each side, and then each of the points connected to that are gonna be moved in the X, Y, or Z direction. And there we go. So you can see that is a lot of detail. It also took a little bit of time to go through and break all that up. Probably excessive, probably more than I'd want. Let's go, let's go look at it without the uh, edges on. So you can see it's really broke up. There's a lot in there. Um, probably more than I would need. If I was going for some kind of a hero piece of material or something, maybe it would make sense. But uh, yeah, probably more than I would want in general.